it, the probably is not something you probably want to do. This is one of those professions that if you have to ask, should I do it? <coughs> probably should. <laughs> <laughs> and the central is, is, is just a different. Deadlines are always limiting, and it's a very fast-paced show. This is a demo stuff. Once you finish one season, next season already coming out next time, too. So that you go right from post to development. And that's why Bruce is in here. He's off cast. He's in there. They just finished. Then, and, and I worked my way to co-producing. That's what I'm 
Uh, my case, the, you know, first thing I did for my motion was uh, coming up from the legal cable for the uh, edge so that Tommy become a white agent. So that when Tommy is coming down, you know, Tommy is going up, I came in with this white case. And after that, you know, next job I have for Saban was that I shot a uh, battle group sequence for beer troopers. Because the uh, beer trooper wanted to have more uh, footage of fight scene, but it didn't have, you know, they had to have separate units to shoot that. So that uh, I was probably in and shot that battle group sequence. And the uh, producer in power engine, Jonathan, is a whore. He liked the one of the troopers. So he asked me to join him in PR and he said to shoot him in PR for him. Then uh, while we were working together uh, for many different seasons, uh, he started liking what I do. So he asked me, you know, why don't you give him more ideas for storylines? So that's how he brought me back to you know story discussion during course of term. Then uh, he brought me in officially from in space. Then after that, you know, my contribution was you know, getting more and more. So he just gave me a why don't you become part of the producing team? Yeah, you know, become producer, co-producer on those guys. After that, kept my position as co-producer working with Jonathan. When Disney took over the show, they need to have somebody that who really know how to produce the show. So they, you know, this is something have someone from uh, Savant side come over with this thing, so they just ask me if I can carry on the show and I can produce the show in New Zealand. Then I become, you know, because it's a producer after that. Uh, well, my background is in special effects and design, but um, you know, I came to Hollywood as a kid to write and direct, and of course they were like, you know, back the line. Everybody wants to write and direct, and so I, I kind of built up my resume doing special effects, um, make connections, but always writing, always putting stuff out there. I'd actually um, gotten a couple of things uh, into Disney, and um, uh, they were talking about making some movies of the week and stuff like that. At the same time, I had met uh, Bruce Kalish, and um, I had a comic book called Blue, and he was interested in turning that into a TV show. So we started working on that, and we were together working on it one day, and he got a phone call for Power Rangers. He said, hey, I'm sitting here with Greg Rowan. I said, you know, it would be great if we did this together. And they were like, oh, we know Greg, so bring him down. And, um, you know, of course, uh, I went in and interviewed, and I think I called the Zords uh, Zoids. <laughs> and then I was like, ooh, I think I just got fired. I haven't even been hired. Did you do the movie costumes, though? Yeah, I had done some stuff for the movie. I worked for a, a studio called Criswell Effects. Uh, not the Ranger costumes, but some of the, the bad guy costumes that were in it. Um, but it's, I still wasn't like directly involved, like heavily with the show. So. And I knew it. It was just like one of those things that you know, um, just made a bit of a mistake and really bad. <laughs> um, but what they really wanted to do with SPD was, uh, you know, with a big corporation, Disney, they're constantly progressing, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to find a new audience, trying to get you know, different levels and different ratings. And so um, they just wanted to kind of shake it out, now, which we do like, and we shook me up. <laughs> <laughs> but they were like, hey, you know, you're you know, ambitious and crazy, and uh, you know, try, try and do some new stuff. So that's, that's how I ended up. It was the best. Sorry, that was like nine calls from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she just arrived.